Hi there Titans. In this video I'll show you how to use the form Titan built-in JS functions. So if we'll head over to one of the fields, um, let's say this hidden, the account ID, and head to conditioning and click configure conditions and set up some conditions. So in this instance current field is not empty. And go to the execute JS option and hit configure. So we can see all of the built-in functions that we have by form titan. So we can do form titan reload parent and form titan get CSS element and form titan set CSS element and get hash hiddens, which will return all the hiddens on the form. We can do set value by, set value by ID and FT close model. So Let's see what we can do here. So this form, let me show you what I'm using it for. So we have a different form that we can look up an account or if we can't find it, then create a new one. And once you click to create a new one, we'll open my, my modal form. Let's take a look at the settings here. So I've set it up to allow it a new record and I labeled it create a new account and I configured it so I said open in modal and I'm pointing to my to my uh, other form and let me show you how this looks like so if I'll publish this and I'll search something and do create a new account so I get my form um, where it lets me create a new account. So what we're going to do here is once we create a new account just to demonstrate how you can use the JavaScript options. So once you create a new account we want to do a few things. First of all we want to return the created account to the parent window which is uh, my our first page. And then the second thing that we want to do once the account is created we want to close the modal um, automatically. So um, let me show you how it works now. So this is not going to be closing. Uh, not closed modal and I'll put in some phone number, select the type and submit. So it created my account and the modal still stayed open so I have to close it physically and, and my uh, account wasn't returned automatically to my form, to my main form. So now I have to search it again. So here is my account that I just created. So let's head back to my modal form and go to my JavaScript. And what I'm going to do is this. So first thing is I'm going to do set value by ID. So we're going to say let's do window dot parent. So we will um, set the value on the parent and now we're going to get the field ID which is on our main form. So we need to create a new hidden here and say count ID from hotel and grab the FLD95 but before then what I want to do is in the get I'll duplicate my get because right now I'm getting by the lookup and I wanted to get by the hidden as well so just for this you can also do or condition but I'm just going to duplicate it in this instance and do get ACC by model hidden and set the condition change it from account ID from model apply save my form. So this is again, we're going to head back. So FLD95. So we're saying FLD95 and our value is FD get value. So this guy and it's not an advanced value so we don't need it. So our field ID is Hang on, I need to grab it. So this is the account ID. So let's take a look at the, our 
FLD38. So this is our ID. So we'll head back to the conditions and to the execute JS. And we're just going to get rid of everything and say FLD38. And then our next step is to do this guy window ft close modal, which will close our modal once it's done. So let's apply everything here and refresh our form. And we'll do close auto and we'll give in some phone number and hit submit. So everything worked perfectly. I got the account ID from Modal. And by that, we ran our get. So we got the name automatically, closed auto, customer direct, and phone. And this is how it's done.